Hi, my name is Luke and welcome to this PyTorch Deep Learning video series. I've been teaching PyTorch and Deep Learning at a university level for the past few years. And based on that experience, I'm putting together some publicly available tutorials uh, that you can find on GitHub, going through the basics of PyTorch and some deep learning concepts. In this YouTube video series, I'm going to go through the tutorial notebooks that you can find and some of the code implementations that I've put together. Uh, currently, the idea is I'm going to start at section two, the PyTorch basics, though you can see I've also included section zero and sections one, which are kind of an expected knowledge. Uh, there's a lot of tutorials out there that cover a lot of those concepts, so I thought I'd skip over those unless there is a lot of interest and I can make some videos going over those sections as well. So you can go through and download uh, this repo from GitHub. Currently, I'm adding content still. I have a lot of the content available, but I'm just sort of updating it and modernizing it before I upload it and make it publicly available. You can see I've got sections, well, sections one or zero to four currently, all the way up to CNNs. You can go through that now as I'm adding these videos. But like I said, the plan is at least one video per section. If you go into the sections, you'll see that there are multiple directories, data notebooks and solutions. The way it's structured is that notebooks will contain the sort of tutorial notebooks if applicable for that section or some skeleton code implementations. Data will include any relevant uh, data or the pictures or whatever that's needed. And solutions will contain the actual an example solution for those implementations. And the idea is currently I'll pick one of these implementations and make a video on that. I won't do one for everyone and I'll try to make sure that whatever one I pick uh, explains enough for all of them. Again, if there is interest on a particular notebook or a particular implementation, I can make a video on that as well. So that's all I wanted to put in this introduction video. I hope you'll join me and I'll see you in the first video.